Madison County's Drug Task Force leads the nation when it comes to the number of meth lab busts. And police tell us that the urban meth labs, like the one just recently shut here in Elwood, have become commonplace. The impact of meth, powerful enough to blow out walls and transform. Used to, I tried to stay away from the word ep epidemic, but these one pot methods of making methamphetamine, it, it is an epidemic. This undercover Madison County Drug Task Force detective says meth has gone from being a non-issue to at least 75% of what they do. This is an addiction-driven drug, and it's just people that are fueling their own highs. These are pictures of Madison County meth labs, explosions, and bust. Police shut down more than 140 labs last year, making them second in the nation. The most recent happened this weekend here on P Street in Elwood. Police arrested these three people for operating two labs inside this home. I'm real concerned, uh, you know, especially when it's right next door to my home or even anywhere in this neighborhood because, you know, I have children. Police say meth has gone from being a rural drug to an anywhere and everywhere drug. Some states require prescriptions for pseudoephedrine. But while Indiana is leading the nation in busts, trying to come up with laws to regulate the ingredients is even more complicated. They'll want to know as well, what are the components of meth? How easy to make it? And some of these, most of the components of meth are household goods that you probably have in your homes right now. In 2012, the Madison County Drug Task Force shut down six times as many meth labs as the year before. And police say the numbers reflect their aggressive tactics and the widespread of this drug. Reporting in Elwood, Ebony Monet, RTV6.